Hello everyone and happy September. It has been a while since I've sat down and vlogged. I have filmed a lot of clips, so I think what I'll do is um, I'll just gradually talk through them in this video, but most of the clips are about food, <laughs> so I haven't um, branched out all that much in terms of topics. I wanted to quickly film this clip because I am going to be cooking this today and I wanted to show it before I cook it. So this is um, a summer squash that my friend grew in her garden. It's huge as you can see and I'm actually very excited to cook it. I've been um, into making roasted vegetables again. I love roasted vegetables but I always forget to make them or I fall out of um, the habit of cooking or I go through a phase where I don't cook much and we instead go out to eat a lot or we get takeout. Coming into September, I've kind of gotten back into um, the desire to cook. I've gotten into like a nice groove with cooking or kind of like buying a few things but cooking the rest. So that has felt really, really good. I mentioned in the last vlog that um, hubby and I were going out quite a bit, especially in August to celebrate our anniversary and also with things opening up more we wanted to catch up with people and we ended up um, probably overdoing it a little bit we didn't go out that much especially compared to the way we used to go out before but having the pandemic and pretty much staying home the entire time the few times that we went out it felt like a lot to me so I was ready to settle back into a groove of being at home for the most part and having our food at home, whether that be buying it or preparing it. So the things that I've been making lately, it's been a lot of pasta. I made this really good um, fusilli pasta dish. It was with a bunch of stuff that I had at home because I am still trying to use up ingredients before buying more. It's working, but it's also not working. I do still tend to probably buy more than I need immediately. So I put together this um, fusilli pasta dish that was so delicious. I actually love pasta. I can eat a lot of pasta. It doesn't really bother me and um, I don't find it like overly filling or anything like that. I think my body digests pasta very well. So um, yeah, there's been a lot of that. I've also been making this soba noodle salad dish. I was inspired to make this dish based on Javi and my visit to One Kitchen when we had lunch there. I knew I wanted to make a soy sesame dressing though instead of the um, tahini one and my friend actually felt like making zoba noodle salad at the exact same time. I think she had one at a restaurant too, a different restaurant. She sent me the recipe, so it was perfect timing. I also made a huge batch of couscous. I've been trying to use up the grains and pasta that we have at home, and um, I made a lot of couscous. I made it with um, shrimp and... Oh, I can't remember what else was in it, but I'll insert the photo. And it was delicious. I find couscous doesn't smell the most appetizing, but I really love um, the way it tastes. I love the texture. I love kind of like everything about it except for that initial scent when you open the pot. Those are the main things I've been making, but we also had the udon that um, I picked up at Walmart when I was trying to buy the Cheetos mac and cheese. What I did with that was I made um, an udon soup and I made the um, dashi that was the base of the soup. So I used up all of our dried kelp and our dried fish to make that and it was really really delicious. I am heading to TNT again. I've been there quite a number of times. I really like it. This is going to be my fourth visit and maybe I'll do a haul today to show you the types of things I've been buying. I really do like going there and just like taking a peek to see what sort of pastries they have or like baked goods and just to pick up a few things here and there. I'm back 
home now and I picked up a few things from TNT. I've been liking to go in the morning to see what sort of snackies they have for our first meal. But because it's so busy, they're often out of a lot of things. But this morning was pretty good. I got some sticky rice, $3.99 for two, so not too bad. They're bigger than the ones that we get from the little Chinese bakery. And these seem to have more meat and I think they taste a bit better. I also got two of these salted egg yolk croissant buns. Hubby saw these the first time we had them and they were really good. They don't have any sort of filling in them, but they have some salted egg yolk bits that's baked into the pastry. Bought some longan. These are kind of like lychee. They're smaller and the texture is a bit different. I love these and they're on sale right now. So I picked some up the other day, but I'm almost done already. So I bought a few more. And finally today I bought some of these barbecue pork buns. I like to have one of these bigger steamed buns for my first meal along with one of these little plain steamed buns. This is the first time I'm trying the barbecue pork bun. The first time I went to TNT, I bought the pork and preserved vegetable bun, and that is actually my favorite. I also tried this one last time because they didn't have the one that I really liked. This is the leeks and pork one. This one's good, but it's a little bit too meaty for me. I like something a little bit lighter in terms of meat flavor. I also bought some of my favorite favorite phoenix buns. I love these. These are duck yolk custard and they're so so good. I plan to always have some of these um, in the freezer. I want to show you a few ice cream bits that I bought. I bought some of this um, ice cream filled mochi. So this one here is the one I've been eating. There's one left. It's the green tea one and it's really really good. The mochi is a little bit thin. There isn't like a really thick layer of mochi but the flavor is delicious and the texture is good as well. Sometimes I find with these desserts, the um, texture of the mochi doesn't feel quite right. It's too gummy or like, I don't know, not chewy enough, but this one is really good. I also bought this one for hubby. I haven't tried this because it is durian flavor and I'm not a fan of durian, but he really likes them and they smell really, really strong, so they must be very flavorful. This is something that Hubby and I picked out together when we went on Thursday to TNT. This is salted egg yolk ice cream. So it's like an ice cream bar, I guess, with salted egg yolk in them. I don't know. We haven't tried this yet, but it looked intriguing. The packaging is also really cute and really pretty. Another thing that Hubby and I picked out together were garden wafers. He got, of course, the durian flavor, and he also got a pack of cappuccino, but he's finished those already. I chose lemon and peanuts, my two favorite flavors. I really like the new packaging, it's still very similar in overall size, but inside we've got four individually wrapped packages of garden wafers. There are six a piece in each um, of these individually wrapped packages. So this really helps so I don't have to feel like I need to eat them really quickly in order for them to um, not go stale. So I've been enjoying these slowly and um, I just love, love, love garden wafers. I love pretty much all wafers, but I think garden wafers are probably my favorite. They're not too sweet. They've got like a really nice like dry texture that I love. And finally, I just wanted to show the soba that I picked up. This is the first one that I bought and I really, really like like these. What I look for in um, soba noodles and udon noodles, if possible, is for them to be made in Japan. I also look for made in Japan for sesame oil as well. So these are made in Japan. They are a combination of wheat flour and buckwheat flour, so they have like a really nice texture. And um, these were just very, very, very delicious. We make three bundles at a time, and I only had two bundles left, which is why I decided to try a different brand. This brand is from South Korea, and it's also a mix of wheat flour and buckwheat flour. That is all I picked up from TNT today, and the last little bits that I had from previous visits. We also got um, this 
oh, what was it called? Chestnut mochi bread. It's kind of like a small loaf of bread. And when you cut into it, there's like some mochi that's baked inside along with some chestnuts. So that was pretty good. In terms of onions and garlic, I've only been buying one at a time. So I'll buy a big onion and only one bulb of garlic. When I finish these, I'll go ahead and buy another. So that um, helps with uh, food waste when I'm not cooking cooking very much. I find um, if I buy the bags of onions, sometimes they do start to spoil, which doesn't feel great. So um, I'm trying to buy less with each uh, grocery store visit. I wanted to pop on with a little update about Miss Lulu. I actually did vlog when we took her to the vet, but um, the clip didn't really fit in anywhere. So I thought I would just record this clip instead and give you an update on her, especially since we now know more. So about, I guess it's almost two weeks ago, Lulu was super excited when hubby got home. She always is very excited to see hubby, especially. Hubby's like her favorite person. So um, she was running around doing zoomies and she just like basically runs back and forth in our living room area to the door and then back to the window area and then back and forth. And all of a sudden, when she was beside the couch under hubby's table, we heard her yelp. She ran onto the couch and she was whimpering for a bit. And then after that, she couldn't put any weight on her um, hind leg on her left side. So we were pretty concerned, especially since um, she has injured her legs in the past, just from, she jumps up a lot on her hind legs to beg for food when um, hubby's eating. So in the past, she has developed like a slight limp before, but that always goes away within like a day or two. So it hasn't really been serious and it's like a very slight limp. But this time she literally was not putting any weight on her back leg. She had to hop around on um, her three paws. So we called her regular vet, but they weren't able to take her for a little while. I called a bunch of different vets because um, her regular vet gave me a few names and then those vets didn't have any appointments available. So I got names from them and so on and so forth. Finally, we landed on one that was able to take us the same day, which is great. It has been a few days, even though I'm in the same position with Lulu. I think I'm wearing something different though. Hubby came home early when I was giving you an update on Lulu that day so I put the camera away and I kind of forgot to come back. Now it has been about two weeks, over two weeks since she hurt her paw. She is still limping but um, she seems a bit better. She is now putting more weight on it or like more frequently and she actually does try to run which we're still trying to stop her. I think she is healing up well so fingers crossed everything is okay. We did end up getting the x-rays from the vet and also the specialist report. She has no breaks or fractures so that's great. The vet also said that her hips are really good better than they expected so it looks like structurally she is doing pretty well but there is that ligament issue that um, is still healing up the vet did say it takes about six to eight weeks for that to heal it's been a bit over two weeks so we're just gonna keep monitoring her and um, seeing how she heals up over the next little while because we went to a different vet we also want to take her to her regular vet at at the end of the six to eight weeks. Lulu has been taking medicines. She got this little bag from the vet with her name on it, so cute. And uh, she had two medicines that she had to take. One is an anti-inflammatory. She was all done with that. It was this one here, Rumocam. Because she's so tiny, it was just a little bit in this syringe that uh, we put on her food. She ate it no problem. It's supposed to be hard on their digestive system, but we didn't notice any issues. Lulu loves food and she has a huge appetite, which is very fortunate for us because um, we can really tell if she's not feeling well because that's the only time she doesn't want to have her next meal. There was only one time she didn't like the food we were giving her and she like very reluctantly ate it, but otherwise she is just like she's on it at every meal time she knows when it's coming up she'll stare at me until I feed her so she took the medicine no problem and she also got this which is um, 
a pain medication called gabapentin. She is still taking these. She had to take the anti-inflammatory for 10 days and she's got um, today and two more days of these little um, pain capsules. They're so cute, they're so small. I don't know if you could see how tiny it is, but it's like really, really tiny, tiny, tiny pill. So we just put this in with her food as well. She takes this twice a day and she's almost done. We're also giving her this. This is green lipped muscle powder. It's something that um, the vet recommended when um, I was talking to her about options for Lulu's knee. And this apparently is really good for joints. We didn't buy it from the vet because we wanted to do some more research about it, but we found it on Amazon and it got really, really good reviews, fantastic reviews. So we decided to give her a little bit of this with um, her evening dinner. This stuff smells like that cuttlefish snack. It's basically dried cuttlefish that's flavored with like salt and sometimes it's spicy. It's really, really good. I love that stuff, but it smells very fishy. This smells exactly like that, but because I love the smell of that dried cuttlefish because I love the taste of it, this smell doesn't bother me at all. But after dinner, Lulu does have like a fishiness to her breath. Even though we give her so little, the scent is so strong that um, yeah, it's kind of lingers in her mouth. We've been giving her also a little bit of plain yogurt to help with her tummy. In case the Rumacam was hard on her digestion, we wanted to like up the um, probiotics in her belly. So we've been giving her a little bit of plain yogurt as well. And I find the plain yogurt does mask the scent of, or maybe neutralize the scent of this uh, muscle supplement. I am making my healthy mac and cheese. This time I'm going to use fusilli though because I have a few boxes of macaroni and I just want to change it up with um, some different pasta. But this is my um, healthy veggie base. What I do is I make this into a puree. It's kind of like a very concentrated soup. And then I add um, a bit of cheese. Less cheese than a regular mac and cheese but enough for us to taste it. The soup base is um, half an onion, one clove of garlic, some frozen butternut squash, half a package that I had um, of the cube stuff, the PC brand. I put in some of the um, zucchini from my friend's garden. The inside part where the seeds are, I roasted kind of like the outer part and just um, reserved the uh, seed part for this soup base. I also added some oregano that she actually gave me from, I think she said it was her garden at work, which is very, very cool. There's a little bit of tomato paste that I'm trying to use up, that's why it is so um, dark orange. And as well, I put in some seasonings like salt, a little bit of garlic powder, some mustard powder, some cayenne pepper and I think that's it. Here is what the puree looks like and I got a new immersion blender because the one I had was very, very, very old and um, pretty much not working anymore. This one is great, I really like it. I'm gonna add the cheese now, some little pieces of sun-dried tomato and then I'm gonna toss everything together with the pasta and bake it. have been eating at home a lot more. I've been cooking quite a bit actually and we've been trying to use up a lot of the stuff we have at home but from time to time we still want to buy some little treats to enjoy. So today we bought this crepe cake from Millie Patisserie. We're very excited about it because it is a limited edition flavor and it is salted duck yolk. So hubby and I love salted duck yolk everything. You may have picked up on that in this vlog and um, we're very eager to try this. A few other bits that we've bought just in the past little while, we wanted to try the deep fried halva sandwich from Tuts. So we ordered one deep fried one and one grilled one so we could compare and contrast. 
The deep fried one was more to hubby's liking, but it was a bit too greasy and heavy for me. So I actually preferred the grilled one. That was something small that we picked up recently, as well as some character macaron. So we tried the rest of the different varieties of character macaron from Tango, and uh, they were all really good. So now we've tried all of the 18 characters or flavors and i think my favorite flavors are probably the tea and coffee ones as well as the fruit ones so that's very um, typical of what i gravitate towards anything floral as well is something that i really really enjoy let's go ahead and try this crepe cake we used to buy these um I wouldn't say like very often, but there was a period of time probably about two and a half years ago that we were going to Millie Patisserie pretty frequently, like every week I think we would buy something from there, either the ice cream or the crepe cake, and this is the first time we've tried this flavor. So you can see all of the layers of crepe with the cream. Cheers! And maybe the duck yolk is just this orange part on top. <laughs> mm. it's good it's very mild though the duck yolk flavor <laughs> you can good. kind of taste like the salted you can taste it a little bit it's definitely only on the top maybe they thought it would be too overpowering to have the whole thing salted duck yolk i'm gonna eat um just this oh yeah you can taste it mm -hmm. yeah Yeah, the bottom half is, I guess it would be like a vanilla flavor. <clears throat> mm, mm -hmm. The top half is the duck yolk flavor. And you can, you can taste it a lot more when you just eat the top half by itself. So this is really good. They only have this for the month of September. So maybe hubby and I will have to order it a couple more times before the end of the month. I'm gonna end off the vlog here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have kids going back to school, I hope that went really smoothly. And um, I hope you're feeling kind of like that new energy of September, the back to school energy, the fall energy, changing of seasons, that sort of thing. I will be back very soon with another vlog and I will see you all then. Bye.